everyone. Welcome back to yoga class. Today we're going to focus on shoulder and back flexibility. I've been hearing from a couple different people that the back space feels a little bit tight. So we're going to just take some movement specifically for the upper body. We will do just a little bit for the low body, but we're really going to focus on creating space and getting that mobility and fluidity for the spine and at the same time, releasing tension from the shoulders. So make sure that you're in a comfortable seated position. Check around your space, make sure that you've got the props that you want and need. We're gonna start seated. I'm sitting on a folded up blanket. You might want that or you might want a block to sit on or a pillow. Whatever works for you, just reach around and grab that and know that we're going to start in a comfortable seat. I'll play some music for us while you're getting yourself set up. And if at any point you would like to have any of my playlists, I'm so happy to share those with you. Just let me know and I can send you whatever style works for you in your practice. Even if you just need a playlist to de-stress and calm the nervous system. So starting in our seated position, we're gonna start with eagle arms. For our eagle arms, we'll bring our arms down by our sides. On an inhale breath, lift your arms, reach your fingers in opposite directions. Exhale, take one arm over the other, bend your elbows. See if your hands can meet. Maybe that's the palms, maybe it's the back of the hands. Now, from here, the important part is to lift the elbows. Hold here for three rounds of your breath. So let's practice taking a deep inhale all the way to the top of the breath. Exhale, release the air slowly. Keep lifting the elbows. Explore two more rounds of breath. On your next exhale, slowly unwind the arms. Inhale, reach the fingers out. Same thing, other side. So opposite arm crosses on top. Elbows bend, maybe the hands find each other. Really important, lift those elbows up. Hold the lift. Deep inhale to the top of the breath. Exhale, release. Two more rounds of breath. Practice full lung capacity, breathing. Inhale, taking in as much air as you can. Exhale, letting the air go slowly. Unwind the arms. And then inhale, reach the arms up. Take the arms down. Now starting to get into some shoulder work. Some of you might be able to take your arms behind your back. And when you do this, you might be able to interlace your fingers. If you have issues interlacing your fingers, you can incorporate a strap into your practice. Now, we've talked about this before, if you followed my previous videos. If you don't have a strap, it's no problem, no big deal. You can use a scarf or a belt. So if your hands don't meet behind your back, you can grab onto your strap. So for this one, I'll sit sideways so you can see what I'm doing with the arms. Take the hands behind, interlace the fingers, press the palms together. Remember, if this doesn't happen, you can grab onto your strap and work with the strap this way. It's going to be really important that you're honoring your body so that you're not causing injury to your shoulders. So just checking in with your shoulders, find what you need. So we'll start by bringing the arms behind the back, interlace the fingers. Now press the palms together, feel the arms straighten. Look forward. As you inhale, lift your fist as high as you can. Feel the chest open, feel the shoulders open. Exhale, lower down, release the hands. Now take the hands to the front. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift the arms up. 
exhale, release. Now we take them behind. So we're gonna repeat that. Inhale, lift the fifth. Exhale, lower down. Release the hands, take them to the front. Interlace. Inhale, lift, ears between biceps. Exhale, release, take it behind. So we're gonna take one more full round. Inhale, lift the fist. Exhale, lower down. Arms come in front. Inhale, arms rise up. And then exhale, let the arms go. Continuing on with our shoulder opening, this time we will incorporate a strap, a scarf, a belt, whatever you have because this is going to be a little deeper for the shoulder. So to start, you'll lift one arm straight up and the other arm comes behind your back. Now as you bring your arm behind your back, think about bending your elbow and bringing your fingers up to your upper back. And then as you exhale, bend your top elbow. Some of you might be able to get the fingers to meet. If so, open the elbow up towards the ceiling to get a deeper stretch. Now, if you have trouble having the arms or hands meet, with your arm that's lifted, take your strap, your scarf, your belt with you, bend your elbow, and then let your lower arm grab onto the strap. Okay, so set that up. When you find the option that's working for you, Think about opening that tricep and opening the shoulder. Be kind to your body. We're still warming up. Exhale, let the arms go. Bring them down. Coming into the other side. Inhale, reach opposite arm up. Exhale, the other arm is going to come behind. Rotate the fingers up towards the back, the upper back. Bend the top elbow, see if the fingers or the hands can meet, and if not, take that strap in your top arm so that the strap can make the connection for you. Now notice how it feels to open up this side. This side might feel different and that's okay. Just enjoy the experience. Exhale, open your mouth, sigh of relief. We'll take one more round of breath on this side. And release your arms, release the strap, just set it to the side. Now for our next posture, we're going to incorporate a block. If you don't have a block, you can use a foam roller. If you don't have either of those, you can opt out of this option. You can watch and see if you're interested in getting props to try it another time, or you can just let this posture pass. We're gonna be working on the subscapularis muscle. So if you lift one arm, take your opposite fingers underneath the armpit, but behind a little bit more. You're gonna feel around for the muscle, so not the bone. You, when you feel around, you'll find probably a tender feeling muscle. Keep your fingers there and then bring your arm down. Now, notice where I have the block positioned. I'm gonna lean over towards the block, extend my legs, and then I'll come onto my forearm that's on the other side of the block. Now, I'm gonna use the edge of the block to rest that tender muscle down. So I'm using gravity, I'm using the weight of my body to press into that muscle. Now, I let my palm support my head, when you come into it, if you don't feel very much at all, you can rock forward and back. You might find it even deeper as you rock forward and back. You can bend your top leg and make a kickstand if that feels better. If you feel like you don't quite have it yet, feel free to wiggle the block around until you find that sweet spot. And then once you find that spot, just let your body sink down onto the block. Remember, we're letting gravity do the work. Pressing weight into the block. 
releasing any congestion that might have accumulated in this area. We've got about 30 seconds to go on this side. Just a couple more rounds of breath. Just a few more seconds. You might even feel that release happening. So come out slowly and carefully. Lift the head so that you can bring the forearm down. Press into the opposite palm, extend your leg, and bring your body back to a seated position. Now, before we come into the other side, let both of your arms hang down. Close your eyes and just notice how one side feels compared to the other. The side that we just worked on probably feels a little looser. That shoulder probably feels lower. So let's even that out. Let's come into the other side. Simply pick up your block Take it to the other end of your mat. Know that we're going to do the same thing we did, but just doing that on the other side. So let's lift up that arm. Take the opposite arm so that the fingers can find that muscle under and towards the back of the armpit, but not the shoulder blade. Remember, we don't want to be on the bone. And once you've found it, then you're going to lean to that side. Take your hand to the opposite side of the block. Keep your fingers there so that you know where you're going to lower your body onto the block. Remember to use the edge of the block because that's what's going to press in. Now you can straighten your legs. You can make your kickstand. Let your palm cradle your head. Relax your opposite arm. Remember you can shift forward and back. You don't want the block underneath your armpit. It's going to be a little higher up and a little bit back. So if you lean back and you feel a deeper press, then you can pause there if that works for you. Starting our time on this side, just let your body sink down onto the block. Let go of any tension if you're holding on. Know that the block is there to support you. Simply breathe into this space. Know that by taking a few more rounds of breath and pressing in, we're letting that stagnation go. A few more rounds of breath on this side. Exhale, soften, surrender to the pose. We've got about 10 seconds left. And lift the head, drop the forearm down, gently press yourself up, back to your seated position. Bring your arms down by your sides. Maybe close your eyes. Notice how both sides feel. We'll remove the block off the mat. And now reaching around for another prop, we want something that's rolled up if you have it. So if you have a foam roller or a blanket that you can roll, that's gonna go underneath your knees. If you don't have that prop, it's perfectly okay to place your blocks there. So turn it sideways so that you can see me. I'm gonna position this rolled up blanket underneath my knees. That way I'm not stressing my hamstrings. And if you don't have the blanket blocks, one block underneath the back of each knee. So starting in this seat with our hands out by our sides, making our body in an L shape, inhale, reach the arms up. Now as you exhale, you're gonna hinge at the hips, 
fold forward. Relax the feet, let the arms lower down, let the hands touch the mat. Inhale, lift the crown of the head up, and then exhale, fold a little deeper. Now feel the entire back space stretching. Release your head and your neck. Imagine that your forehead is lowering down towards the mat. And as you lower your head and your neck down, you'll feel a deeper stretch. Now close your eyes. Bring your attention and your awareness to the sensations that you're feeling in your back. Notice where you feel the most tight. For some of us, it might be the low back. For some of us, it might be the upper back. For those of us that are more flexible, we might reach the hands towards the feet, taking the hands to the outsides of the feet and lowering the head down. Breathe into the pose. If you're grabbing onto your feet and that's too much, simply let go. We're halfway through this shape, this pose, this experience. Because we're halfway through, as you take your next exhale, see if you can fold a little deeper. One more full round of breath. Inhale, slowly start to lift your head up. Take your time, there's no rush. The slower you move, the less dizzy you'll feel once you come back into your straight spine. And once the head rises up, you can remove your prop. Just set it out to the side. Back to our comfortable seat. Let's take our hands, our palms down to the thighs. Make sure you're not pushing onto your knees, but rather palms just gently onto the thighs. We'll move our torso around in circles. So as you inhale, bring one set of ribs, one side to the same side knee. Bring your chest forward, move over to the other side. Now as you exhale, think about bringing belly button towards your spine. Inhale, send the heart forward. Exhale, bring it back. Continue to take these circles. Notice how this is feeling in your side body, in your low back. Notice if your body wants to make big circles or smaller circles. And notice if there's any area of tightness where you want to pause and take a longer hold. Deeply stretching with a longer hold, finding a release, cleansing this area from stagnation. And when you're ready, we'll take the circles in the opposite direction. As you're circling around now in this direction, notice if there's anywhere you want to pause here. Anywhere you want to take a longer hold, a deeper stretch. Anywhere that your body is calling for more attention. And when you're ready to move on, continue your circles. We'll just take a few more, allowing the circles to become smaller, finding our way to center. Now as we inhale, we'll open the heart, send it forward, shoulders back. Exhale, bring the belly button towards the spine, shoulders forward, rounding the back. 
Inhale, open the heart, shine it forward. Exhale, belly button to spine. Continue to move through extension and flexion. Allow yourself to have the experience of mobility. We'll take one more full round. And then find your way back to a neutral spine. Crown of the head is reaching up. Hips are grounded down. So we'll come into a spinal twist. To set up for it, let's extend one leg straight. The opposite leg, ankle, is gonna come to the bottom thigh. So the knee is splayed out, and then you wanna flex your foot. We're spinal twisting towards the foot that we have stacked on top of the thigh. So we're gonna think about getting the tricep to the arch of the foot. So bring your palms together, take an inhale breath, and as you exhale, rotate, twist. See if you can get your tri your um, the back of your arm to your arch. And then twist deeper. See if you can get your thumbs towards your heart. Now, if this feels a little too intense for you, you can back out a little bit. Slowly unwind back to center, release the hands. Now we're gonna switch up the legs. So the leg that was on top now is gonna extend and ground down. Bend the knee of the leg that was grounded, lift the foot, bring the ankle to the thigh, let that knee splay out. Setting yourself up, flex that foot. Now remember, we're gonna twist opposite direction, so we're bringing the back of the arm to the arch of the foot. Know that this pose is excellent for creating balance between both sides of the body and for opening up the torso, the chest, and the hips. So palms meet. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, twist. Back of the arm, find the arch of the foot. Rotate, opening deeper. See about getting those thumbs towards the chest. Maybe you even gaze up to the ceiling. Take another full round of breath here. And then exhale. Slowly release and unwind back to center. Remove the hands. Lift that top leg. You can bend the knees. You take your feet to one side. We'll come on to our hands and knees just to set up for child's pose. So as we come into our tabletop position, we'll look to our knees, bring the knees together, bring the feet together. Now send your hips towards your heels. Bring your arms by your sides, lower your forehead down to the mat. Remember you can position a blanket or a block underneath your forehead if your forehead doesn't make it all the way down to the mat. Now with the legs together and the arms by our sides, we're allowing an opening, a release to happen for our low back. So as you experience this shape, this posture, let your arms relax so that you're releasing the shoulders. As you inhale, feel your belly pressing to your thighs. And as you exhale, feel the belly soften. Take a couple more rounds of breath. Notice what's going through your mind as you settle into this pose. Know that this posture is great for reducing anxiety and calming the nervous system. Really beneficial for those of us that might have trouble sleeping at night. We'll start to transition from here. So we'll just take the hands under the shoulders, palms are down to the mat, inhale, lift the head, and then as you exhale, shift forward, tabletop position. 
Now you can open the knees, the hip width, so the knees are under the hips. Fingers are spread wide. Inside of the elbows pointing towards each other. As you inhale, lower your belly down towards the mat. And as you exhale, lift your spine. Back to this movement between extension and flexion. Each inhale, belly lowers. Each exhale, lift your back. See if you can make this movement exaggerated. Know that from here, we're gonna come onto our belly. So find a neutral tabletop position. Walk your hands forward. From here, you can bend your elbows, come onto your forearms. Extend your legs, come on to your belly. Take your time as you lower down. Now from here, you're gonna to wanna to give yourself a little lift because you're gonna to need to get one arm underneath your body. So start by bending one knee and as you bend your knee, bring your knee in line with your hip and then look back. See if you can bring your ankle in line with your knee. Now, you're gonna to rotate towards this bent knee, take your opposite arm under your body, reach your fingers for your knee. You can slide your knee up more if you need. Lower your head down to the mat. You might feel sensation here already. You can stay here if that's enough. If you wanna go deeper, as you inhale, you can reach your fingers up towards the ceiling. To go even deeper, open your arm back. Rotate your chest and your face towards the ceiling. Feel a deeper spinal twisting. Feel the chest and the shoulder opening up. Breathe into the pose. Experience two more rounds of breath. to come out. If your arm is open out, inhale, lift the fingers up. Exhale, bring the arm down. Press your palm to the mat, release your opposite hand, lift your chest enough to bring the forearms back to the mat. Now, lengthen the leg, come onto your belly. Take a full round of breath here. Exhale, open the mouth, release. Setting up on the other side. Bend the opposite knee. Slide the knee up so that you can get the knee in line with the hip. Look back, see if you can get the ankle in line with the knee. Now with that lift that we've created on our, at the front of our torso, we're gonna take the opposite arm, bring it underneath the body, reach for the back of the knee, come onto your shoulder, come onto this side of the head. Stay here if this is enough of a spinal twist. To go deeper, reach the fingers up towards the ceiling. To go even deeper, open the arm. Feel the spine spiraling. Feel the chest open, feel the shoulder open. Take one more round of breath. Inhale, reach the top fingers up. Exhale, lower your palm to the mat. Inhale, press the palm to the mat and give yourself a little lift. Release opposite fingers. Come back onto your forearms. Position your elbows underneath your shoulders. Lengthen your leg. Come on to your belly. Take a full round of breath here. Inhale through the nostrils to the top of the breath. Exhale, open your mouth, release. Now from here, come on to your chest and your belly. Take your hands under your shoulders. 
Bring your feet together. Once your feet are together, inhale, lift and lengthen the right leg. Feel the thigh lifted, but the hips still connected and hold the lift. On your next exhale, let that right leg lower down beside the left leg. Feel the difference in length that you've created. Inhale, lift and lengthen the left leg. Lift it so much that the thigh is disconnected from the mat, but the hip is still connected. Take one more full round of breath. Exhale, lower the left foot down gently. Let it land beside the right foot. Inhale, press your palms to the mat. Just lift the chest, gaze forward. And then exhale, lower down, forehead to the mat. Slide the hands lower towards the ribs. On your next inhale, Peel the chest and the belly off the mat, if that's okay for your body. And then exhale, lower down again. Forehead to the mat. Lengthen the arms by your sides. On the next inhale, lift the chest, lift the head, lift the arms, lift the legs, gaze forward. Explore taking three rounds of breath here. You might even feel yourself rocking on your belly. And on your next exhale, lower down. Forehead to the mat. All the limbs down. Bend your knees, lifting your feet. Take your feet to one side and then the opposite side. So the legs are moving together like windshield wipers on the car, releasing any tension from the back and the hips. Just take one more on each side. Bring the feet to center, lower the feet down. Bring the hands back under the shoulders, lift the head, gaze forward, open your hands wider. So they're coming off the mat, but they're still in line with the shoulders. Elbows are bent, elbows are facing up towards the ceiling. Now gazing forward as you inhale, peel the chest and the belly off the mat. See how it feels to extend the arms. As you exhale, let your right shoulder dip to the center of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, gaze forward. Exhale, left shoulder dips. Repeat, inhale, back to center. Exhale, right shoulder dips. Inhale, lift to center. Exhale, left shoulder dips. Let's take one more full round. Taking one more dip with each shoulder. Really opening up the shoulders in our practice today. Inhale, stretch the abs. Exhale, lower down, forehead to the mat, hands under the shoulders, full round of breath. And from here, we'll press our hands to the mat, we'll lift our hips. So we're coming back up into our tabletop position. And then from here, if you don't have your blocks near you, bring them near your hands in case you need them as we flow through a knee down lunge and a runner's lunge. So I've got the blocks near where my hands are gonna go. I come back into my tabletop position. Remember you spread the fingers wide, wrists are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. So starting with our knee down lunge, if you take your blocks to the highest height, that's gonna give you more lift so that you can bring your foot forward. Take whichever foot forward that you want to, press your hips forward. To go even deeper, you can curl your back toes, lift your knee, take it back, lower it down again. Now, I like to keep my back toes curled, 
Some people uncurl them. I suggest trying both. See what gives you a deeper opening for the front of the hip. See which one you like the best. Make sure that your front knee is tracking above the ankle. Now, you can stay with your hands supported on the blocks, or you can take your hands to your thigh, make sure you're not pressing on your knee. This is our knee down lunge. Our gaze is forward. If we wanna come back to shoulder opening, we can take the hands behind the back, we can interlace the fingers. If we want extension for our spine, we can open the heart, take a little back bend and gaze up to the ceiling. Exhale, release the hands, bring the hands to the blocks. If the back toes are curled, uncurl them now. Lift the hips, send them back so that you can straighten your front leg. As you straighten your front leg, lift the toes and then point the toes so you feel a really nice stretch at the top of the foot. You can take the option of bringing the toes to the left side of the mat and then taking the toes to the right side of the mat. Notice where you feel the stretch shifting at the foot and then bring the foot back to neutral. Make sure you're not pointing or flexing, just let the foot be softened. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your elbows Fold your torso towards your front leg. Now, some of you might release the blocks here and bring your palms or your fingertips to the mat. The more you fold, the deeper you're gonna feel a stretch in your back space and then your hamstring of your front leg. Inhale, lift your head, bend your front knee, shift forward back to your knee down lunge. Exhale, send the hips back, straighten the front leg. Let's take two more. Inhale, we bend the knee. Exhale, we straighten the leg. Notice where you feel the opening. One more round. And then we'll meet at a knee down lunge. This time, practice bringing your hands to your thighs if you haven't already. Take the hand of the same side that you have leg in front. Bring your thumb to the crease of your hip. Inhale, reach opposite arm up. And as you exhale, reach over to the side of your bent knee. Okay, so my left leg is forward. So I'm reaching my right arm over to the left. Now I can feel a really big opener in my right side body and at the front of my right hip. Inhale, reach the fingers up. Exhale, take the hand down. Both hands come down. Slide the foot back. Bring the knees in line with each other. Plant the palms, take a full round of breath. Inhale through the nostrils to the top of the breath. Exhale, let it go. Coming into the other side. Grab onto your blocks if you need them for support. This is gonna give you a little more lift. And then take your opposite leg to step forward. Shift forward so that you're getting your knee above your ankle. And then remember your back leg. If you can open up deeper, curl your back toes. Lift your knee shift it back and then lower it down again. Keep the back toes curled or not. This is up to you depending on your body and then see if you can position your blocks in line with your shoulders. So blocks under shoulders. You do have the option to take your palms to your thigh, not your knee, thigh. Gaze is forward. Feel a deep opening at the front of the hip. And remember if you want the shoulder opener, chest opener, Hands come behind you, fingers interlace, heart opens, gaze up, little back bend. Exhale, release. Hands find the blocks, uncurl the back toes. Now, we're gonna shift the hips back so that we can straighten the front leg. You might need to walk the blocks back. 
As you straighten the front leg, lift the toes, and then just point the toes. Feel a stretch at the top of the foot. You can rotate the toes to the right, and then rotate the toes to the left. If you get a cramp, just flex your toes, bring your toes towards your body. Release when you're ready, just let the foot soften. Take an inhale breath, and as you exhale, fold your torso towards your leg. Now this is the point where some of you might wanna release the blocks and bring your palms or your fingertips all the way down to the mat. Remember, the more you fold, the deeper you're gonna feel the stretch in the back space and at the hamstring. Take one more full round of breath. On your next inhale, lift the head, gaze forward, bend the knee, shift forward to your knee down lunge. You can come onto your fingertips or you can work with your blocks. And then moving through these two postures, exhale, take the hips back, just enough to where your hip is above your back knee. Inhale, shift forward, knee down lunge. Exhale, send the hips back, straighten that front leg. We've got one more round. Now the next time this front knee is bent, we're gonna lift our hands to our thigh. We're gonna take the same side arm of the bent knee. The thumb finds the hip crease. Fingers can pull the flesh out for external rotation. Opposite arm reaches up, fingers to the sky. And as you exhale, lean over. So my right foot is forward. My left arm is reaching over to the right. Deep stretch for the left side of the body and the left hip flexor. One more round of breath. Inhale, reach the fingers up to the ceiling and exhale, take the hand down. Take both hands down. Remove the blocks if they're in your way. And once both hands are down, slide the foot back. Now let's give ourselves a reflective pause. Coming back to child's pose, let's open the knees, the width of the mat, big toes together. Send your hips towards your heels. Extend your arms in front. Remember, if your forehead doesn't meet the mat, you can position a blanket, a pillow, or a block to support your forehead. Now, in this variation, we have the option to go deeper for the arms and the back. Simply lift your hips an inch or two off your heels. Reach your fingers, walk them forward. Press your palms down to the mat and then send the hips back down to the heels. Feel that deep stretch in the upper back. Relax the arms. Shift back to tabletop position. Find your alignment. Spread the fingers wide, wrist under the shoulders, knees under the hips, inside of the elbows facing each other. Now we're gonna come into what's called a revolved knee down lunge. So we're gonna come back to knee down lunge like we just practiced, but we're gonna incorporate a spinal twist. To get there, you can use the support of the blocks or you can practice bringing your foot forward. I suggest exhale, lift your back, give yourself a little more space, then lift your knee, step it forward. Remember the back leg can move back so that you're coming on to knee down lunge. Some of you might feel perfectly comfortable lifting your arms. Some of you are gonna to wanna to have those blocks for support. So. Like we did at the beginning of our practice with our spinal twisting, we're gonna incorporate that with a knee down lunge. We've built up into this moment, so we're ready for it. So instead of taking the upper arm to the arch of the foot, we're gonna take the upper arm to the outside of the thigh. So we'll start with our palms together. You can lift the elbows. Take an inhale breath. Now my right leg is forward, so I'm gonna to twist to my right 
take my left tricep to the outside of my right thigh, and then I'm gonna rotate my chest, bringing the thumbs towards my heart center. And then I can gaze up to the ceiling. I can even press my hips forward if I wanna go deeper. Now, if you feel any discomfort with your shoulder or your back, you're gonna to wanna to opt out of this one. We're gonna to start to unwind. Inhale, bring the arms forward, releasing the elbows. And then exhale, take the hands down to the mat or to the blocks. So shifting out, slide the foot back, bring the knees in line with each other. Using the blocks or lifting the upper back or a combination of both, opposite leg comes forward. Set up in your knee down lunge. Get that front knee tracking above the ankle. Press the hips forward. Now my left leg is forward, which means I'm gonna bring my right tricep to the outside of my left thigh. So palms come together. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, twist to the left. Take your right tricep to your outer thigh. Continue to twist deeper so that you're bringing your chest towards your thumbs. As you twist deeper, maybe you gaze up to the ceiling. Maybe you press your hips forward. Last round of breath. Exhale, release. Gently lift the arms, rotate out, take your hands down to the mat, slide your foot back. Bring your knees in line with each other. You can take an optional child's pose here if you want to. From here, we're going to move into downward facing dog for those of you that are ready. So to come into it, we'll curl the toes, we'll lift the hips. And as we lift the hips, we'll send weight into the legs, taking the pressure out of the shoulders. Now in your down dog, you can spend some time here, bending one knee at a time. As one knee bends, opposite leg straightens. Maybe take one more on each side. Bring the legs back to straight. Slowly walk your feet towards your hands. So you're bringing your feet towards the top of the mat. Take your time. Once you get there, bring your feet to hip distance. Take your palms to your shins for a half lift. Reach the crown of your head forward. Reach your tailbone back. Feel that energetic lengthening. And then exhale, forward fold, let the arms dangle. Release the head and the neck, shake your head forward and back, and then side to side. Arms can continue to dangle or your hands can reach for opposite elbows, framing your head with your arms. This is gonna provide more traction for your spine. If the hamstrings are tight, bend the knees. If the hamstrings are open, straighten the legs. If you'd like another variation, you can bring your arms outside of the right leg to center, outside of the left leg. Feel the stretch in the legs and the hip if you're taking this movement. Allow yourself to move slowly. Simply feeling the sensation in the body, in the different parts of the body. Letting any tightness go with your movement. Back to center. Release the arms. Bend the knees. Count for three full rounds of breath to slowly find a standing position. There's no rush, your head is gonna come up last. 
Take your time so that you don't become dizzy. And as you come into your standing posture, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, take your shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back and down. And again, inhale, lift the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, back and down. Keep moving in this direction. Shimmy the shoulders down so that they're away from the ears. And from here, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Come into your forward fold. Bend your knees deeply, connect your hands to the mat. Step one foot back, coming onto the shin, and then opposite foot steps back, coming onto the shin. Take the feet to one side, come onto your seat. Grounding back down onto your seat. Coming back into our shoulders and our back, our spinal movement. We're gonna take a movement that's really beneficial for releasing stress from the shoulders. So a lot of us have stress that accumulates in the upper back and in the trapezius muscle. To get rid of that stress, we're gonna take a quicker movement. So we lift the shoulders and then we drop them down. Lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep exploring this. Might feel a little funny at first, but each time the shoulders drop, let that tension go. Just let it release from your body, from your being. One more. And then just shimmy the shoulders out. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Pause here. Feel the stretch at the back of the neck. Let your hands rest wherever you'd like. And then you can take optional neck rolls, moving from side to side so that you're making half circles. As you're doing this, if you feel tightness on one side, give yourself permission to pause there, and get a deeper stretch. Know that you can take that pause on the other side as well if you want to even the sides out. And wherever you are, start to find your way back to center. Chin find center. Inhale, lift the chin, gaze forward. From here, inhale, arms rise up. Now, interlace your fingers. Index fingers can point up. Think about squeezing your ears with your biceps. Now, as you exhale, lean your arms over to one side. Feel a nice stretch in the side body and in the shoulder. Of the side that you're opening, both hips are down. Inhale, lift the arms to center. Exhale, fold over opposite side. Inhale, center. We'll take one more each side. This time, lower your arm. Inhale, reach the top fingers up. Exhale, reach over. Let your arm walk further out because you might want to come onto your forearm. Keep this hip down so both hips are grounded. Reach through the fingers, stretching from the hip all the way to the arm. Opening the side body. Use your energy to inhale both arms up. Exhale, lower opposite arm, coming into the other side. Inhale, reach the top fingers up. And then exhale, lean over. Remember, you might be able to come onto your forearm. If not, that's okay. Keep both hips grounded. Keep reaching through the fingers. Feel that really nice opening in the side body. Inhale, 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take the arms down. Take a full round of breath. Inhale through the nostrils. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh of relief. Take another one, that felt so good. Exhale, release and cleanse. Good. All right, we're gonna take extension for the spine. We're gonna open the chest and open the shoulders once again. So consider the props that you have. Some practitioners like to use a block or blocks underneath the shoulder blades or the area where the bra strap would be. Some people like to go deeper by using the spine of the block underneath the spine. And for those of us that need something a little less, if, it, if the block feels too invasive because the edges are harder, then I suggest coming back to your rolled up blanket or your foam roller. So positioning the prop of your choice to one side of your mat, and you're gonna turn away from it. Now remember, find your upper back, find your shoulder blades, or find where your bra strap is, if you're wearing one. Extend your legs, or let your legs be in any shape you'd like. Now, lower down, you can bring your hands down to support you. You wanna position that upper back onto your prop. And then open the arms out, lower your head down. Now the chest is lifted with the arms out to the sides. We're feeling a shoulder opening. The higher up your prop is, the deeper you're gonna feel the stretch. If you bring your head back and it's uncomfortable for your neck, then you can bring an additional prop underneath your head. Simply breathe. Sink into this pose. Let all of your body weight melt down onto the prop. And all you need to do is breathe here. Each exhale, continue to let the tension go. Continue to soften and melt down. If this feels really great in your body, you can stay like this. If you're ready to come onto a flat back, if you're ready for your Shavasana, then you'll just lift your head, lift your back enough so that you can remove your prop. Now, as you set yourself up for your relaxation pose, take the shape that works best for you. Arms and legs can be extended with the space between the feet and space at the armpits. Hands can come onto the belly. For low back issues, you can bend your knees, bring your feet to the width of the mat and then let the knees drop in towards each other. Alternatively, you can bring your lower legs onto a chair. That's gonna feel even better for your low back. If you've got a pillow or a bolster, you can take the bolster underneath your knees for that lift. So this is where we take our time to set ourselves up for comfort. If you'd like a blanket to lay on top of you, feel free to do that as well. As you come into your peaceful pose of relaxation, tuck your chin towards your chest. Let your eyes close. Let your entire body soften. With the eyes closed, bringing the gaze inward. Take a deep inhale through the nostrils. 
And as you exhale, open your mouth, let it go. Continue to explore the breath. Continue to soften and relax. Feel relief for finding the point of relaxation and stillness. Feel gratitude for this pause. This pause that's so important to incorporate at the end of our practice. This time of soaking in all of the effort that we contributed to our own personal practice and growth. Inhale to the top of the breath. And as you exhale, open your mouth, release. Inhale, taking in fresh, clean, new air. Exhale, release any stale, stagnant energy. Continue to breathe in this way. Continue to fill the lungs completely. Continue to cleanse and release on the exhale. Focusing on our breath work, our pranayama, our life force energy. each exhale, give yourself permission to let go. Be here now. Be present with yourself. Feel gratitude for this time of serving yourself. Knowing this time that you give yourself is helping you get to a better state, which will be helpful when you're with other people. Practicing self-love. Serving yourself. You're the most important person that you can take care of. Don't forget to do that. If you would like an extended Shavasana, feel free to stay as you are. If you're ready to come out, you can make that transition. Wherever you are, whatever you choose, I'm grateful for you for practicing with me today. I'm so honored to guide you. Namaste. See you next time. Don't forget to serve yourself.